guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to another Pair Lives video with lots of different news and all of that fun stuff. So there are so many questions answered and I'm so excited. So I kind of like, you know, picked and choose which ones I wanted to go over, certain things that I really wanted to like talk about and things that got me excited. So this time it's actually a bunch of questions answered by Roxanne, which I have done a video um, before going over a bunch of questions that Roxanne has answered. So she's been on the team for um, a little while now. So if you guys do not know her, her at is Roxanne Paralive. So definitely give her a follow and, you know, keep up with the questions she's answering and everything like that. So question number one comes from Max and they said, will there be a family tree in the game? Game. And if so, will we be able to scroll out so we can see it better? Since the game, since in the game we don't mention you can't scroll out, and it's annoying if you have a huge family and want a screenshot. Oh, okay, I get it. So Roxanne says, "Yes, Alex is a weirdo who likes making UIs. So I imagine we'll have a nice, user-friendly one. Love that. Also love that he loves making UIs because I feel like that's a good sign with a simulation game. So I love it. Next question comes from Glorifying, and they said, "Is Paralives gonna have better?" Uh, fat body options. Fat body options in most games often don't reflect how bodies really look and move. Okay. And then Roxanne says, one of my personal goals is to have more realistic bodies in general, including at the very fat and very muscu muscular stages. So I'm doing my best for the 3D models side of it, but I can't speak for animations. I love that. So, you know, I am assuming with the way like Paralive sounds and everything like that, I, I really think the characters are going to be exactly what we want when it comes to diversity and everything. I feel like there's going to be, you know, lots of different options, how we can like you make the bodies and everything like that, the faces, um, the skin tones. There's going to be literally a color wheel so we can make any skin tone we want. I just feel like it's going to be very nice for those of us who like to make sims that look different or like to make our sim self and want it to look exact. I said sim self. What would it be called for a pair of folk? Paraself? I don't know, <laughs> but that's really great. So the next question comes from, I don't know what their name is, but their at is like cherry with an X. <laughs> um, but they said, I'm really excited about the game, but I was wondering if there's a possibility that the Sims pair of folks, <laughs> I do that all the time, have to go buy their food at the supermarkets or that they have the ability to go to clothing stores for new clothes, like in The Sims 2. Roxanne says, possibly. These are common suggestions. I'm assuming if it's suggested a lot, we may very well get it. Of course, not confirmed, but that's a good sign. Okay, so the next question comes from Emma and she said, I would like to talk about the animation style of the paras. I like how in The Sims 4, you can make The Sims very realistic. It adds a lot of to life simulation and I hope similar design will be considered for characters' para lives. So, um, Roxanne says our design for them has realistic proportions and shapes, but stylized textures like the Sims, the game will be moddable, allowing you to replace those you dislike. So that's really great. I am so excited that the game is going to be moddable. If you guys did not know that, that was confirmed a while back. Um, you are going to be able to mod the game. Um, it's on Steam and you're going to be able to mod it on Steam. So I'm excited. The next question comes from Anasia. I don't know if I'm saying that right. That's just how I saw it. But they asked, um, maybe, um, don't question maybe, but basements, are they a thing? And also, if you're a player like Call Me Kevin, uh, how would keeping Paris down there to make money, <laughs> even without being in your household, work? Um, would they teleport away if they left the house? Sorry if this annoys. Roxanne says you'll be able to build a basement and trap people down there. <laughs> we need, we need to develop the precise mechanics of household and money making before I can answer the rest though. Okay, so I'm happy just with the fact that you can build a basement and you can trap people down there. <laughs> So that's hilarious. All right. So next question, it comes from, yeah, it's me. And they said, do you think Para Lives will become a franchise and have sequels? And Roxanne says, we are still in pre-alpha. I think it's a bit too early to say. I think it would be cool if we can see more Para Lives games in the future. However, at the same point, this game, we don't even know when it's going to come out. Um, It could take like two more years, longer. We have no idea. And I feel like the game is going to offer so much that I feel like so many, so many of us will be so just satisfied with it for a long time. Um, I don't even know if we'll need another one. 
But I mean, eventually, I guess, like every game either needs to come to an end or come out with another one because you can't have the same game running for like 20 years. So because things get so outdated and everything like that. So it would be cool to see another, you know, Paralives 2 in the future. But obviously, I mean, that's not even being thought about right now because... You just don't think about that when a game is in pre-alpha. Next question comes from Bad Wolf, and they said a short question. It may have been answered a thousand times, but I got interested in this game recently. Will there be supernatural creatures? Fairies, vampires, etc. I would love it. And Roxanne says they are not planned for launch, but may come later on. So I think that would be a great sort of expansion pack as well. Um, an expansion pack that includes all the, you know, supernatural creatures. But however, I don't care about that. Like, I really don't care at all. That's not even what I'm thinking about with Paralives. To me, it's more of like a very realistic life simulation game. I don't even know if I'd want that, but if it did come, I definitely would probably really enjoy it. Next question comes from Minima, and they said, how smart would Paras be when it comes to fires? Will they just walk up to it and scream or do something semi-sensible, like going out of the house calling the fire station? Roxanne said, hopefully they'll be able to get themselves out of danger and generally react according to their personalities. Love that. I really hope they will get themselves out of danger and that would be nice. And Pedro says, I'm sorry if someone already asked this, but will we have lore in Paralyzed? Kind of like The Sims 2. I know the game will be its own thing, but something similar to it. Roxanne says, yes, we'll have pre-made households and stories. Love. I'm so excited to see what kind of pre-made households and stories they have because since this game seems like it's going to be so detailed, I can just imagine what the stories are going to be for the pre-made households. I literally cannot wait to see that. I feel like I'll have so much fun just going around reading all like the pre-made family stories. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, so next one comes from Hemoglobin. I don't know. Um, I don't know if this has already been confirmed or asked, but I was wondering if the pairs could be able to do more things at once. Multitask? Roxanne says yes. Yay! So we're going to have multitasking. And then here he asks, not sure if anyone asked this, but for ages, will there be preteens? To me, the Sims have an unnatural jump from child to teen. Will there be an awkward puberty stage the characters could go through? Roxanne says it's one of the reasons we're trying for gradual aging. The characters would gradually change as they age. Not sure what age stages we'll have if we can't work it though i do personally like the idea of having preteens so if you guys do not know they have already talked about how they are trying to have gradual aging and if that is the case i will die i would absolutely love that more than anything i have never like oh my god we've never experienced that imagine how cool it would be like if your toddler is like gradually aging into a child oh my god i don't know how it would work if they get it to work that would be incredible and i really would love to see a stage between children and teens and if it's like a gradual aging process that'll just make it even better like oh my god can you imagine can you imagine your child slowly like going into puberty oh <gasps> i would die i would die Oh my gosh. Next question comes from Brandy and they ask, is there going to be a memory system in Paralives? And Brandy says, yes. So that is super duper exciting. Nick asks, on the topic of, topic of aging, do you have an idea of how time will work? Um, how long an in-game year will be and whatnot? So Roxanne says, not yet. It's the kind of game or is the kind of thing we'll need to play test in order to find a good default value. Then Ellie asks, would it be possible for players to adjust the length of time in an hour? Like in The Sims 1, one minute, one hour. This isn't enough time for things to realistically, um, like it could take my Sim three hours just to get up and go to the bathroom. <laughs> so Roxanne says possibly. Time scaling in general could be an interesting thing to customize. I do hope we'll avoid that it takes three hours to pee by default though. So that would be really great if they do avoid that. Let's cross our fingers. It doesn't take too long to do that sort of thing. So um, Kai, I'm just going to say Kai. Kai asks, I have another question. Can we create our own town, for example, like The Sims 2? Okay, you guys are going to be excited about this. Roxanne says we'll be releasing a world slash town builder tool post launch. So it won't come right away, but we're going to have that. We're going to be able to make our own world slash town. Oh my God, I will die. Even if I really suck at it, The you can probably upload your own towns. So that would be so amazing. I would be so excited. Like you could, oh, there's going to be so many things you can create. Like 
we're never going to feel like, oh, we need a new world. Like, give us a new world. Oh my gosh, it's going to be great. So next question comes from Theo and they said, will there be teen pregnancies? And Roxanne said, probably not. We're aiming for a teen rating and I don't know if they'd make the cut. So I think that's really reasonable. However, you guys, there is most likely going to be a mod for teen pregnancy. So I don't think you guys need to worry about that. Another thing, I feel like one reason why we always want teen pregnancy in The Sims is because there's so many things lacking. However, in Paralives, I feel like we're going to be so busy with so many things and I feel like the teens are going to have so much to do that we may not even be thinking about things like that. We may, we may not be thinking of all the things we think of in The Sims 4. Like, let's be real. There's going to be an insane amount of things to do in Paralives, it seems. So many things are already confirmed that I don't know if things like teen pregnancy will really be on our mind. Another question from Oh What, they said, I was wondering if there will be random events, sports events, uh, parties, Taco Tuesday at a restaurant um, during your gameplay that your pair folks can go to or get invited to. Very excited for the game. And Roxanne says, we're considering it. We want neighborhoods to feel alive. Ah, so excited. I hope there's like all these different events that happen around the town. I think that'd be so cool. All right, so that is the very last question, you guys. I feel like I went through that faster than the previous one. I, I don't know why, <laughs> but I will do more of these when I have a bunch more questions. Um, just enough questions where I can actually like talk to you guys for at least like 15 minutes or so. Um, so I'm very excited for a bunch of different things that were answered in this. Um, the gradual aging I already kind of knew about, but that gets me so excited anytime I read anything about it. Another thing that gets me really excited is being able to create your own world slash town. That will be so cool. So much fun. Um, and also makes it so you don't get bored with the current world world you're playing with you can just create another one so that's really great and then also the last question here got me really excited about the whole like having random events like imagine having taco tuesday how fun would that be just little events that make like your day-to-day -day, uh pair alive pair lives just exciting. I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but I think that'd be so much fun. So we actually have to do our notification of Fanticorn Fam shout out before we wrap things up here. So this one goes to Brie Cupcake. Thank you for the unicorn emoji love. We love it. <laughs> Thank you for commenting. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification of Fanticorn Fam shout out, all you got to do is comment down below on any video. You can comment anything you want, or you can come with some unicorn emojis and turn your notifications on. So you guys, with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up here. If you guys have saw any other uh, just interesting information about Paralyzed that I didn't go over. Totally comment it down below to let me know about it. And yeah, I'm excited to do another one of these videos. I love seeing the creators of this game answer so many questions and just get us all pumped. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing to be pumped for this game at this point. Clearly, it's going to be just as great as we think it is. I mean... Like, we've seen the videos, we've seen how cool it looks, we've seen how detailed it looks, we've seen the things that are confirmed. Ah, so, um, hopefully we will get a Parafolk reveal soon. That would be just the ultimate thing to happen. <laughs> so, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys! You gotta listen up, listen up, that's not a thing.